Today, I'm going to show you how to create the Doxyside Potion. The things we'll need to create our Doxyside is one glass plant mister, and this is one that I picked up for like $5. The bottle itself needs to be glass. It doesn't matter if your top portion is plastic or metal. This one's a combination of the two. Um, you just want to make sure that your actual bottle is glass so that the alcohol inks will adhere to it the best. Then we will need some rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. I recommend the 90% rubbing alcohol, but if you have the 70, it'll still work. Then we're going to use some black alcohol ink, and this is the Tim Holtz brand in color pitch black. I have a little eyedropper here so that we can potentially drop a little bit of alcohol on our piece. I also have a straw. This will help disperse some of the ink to give us a really cool effect. You are going to want to use gloves when you are handling and using the alcohol inks because if you get them on your hands, you can take some of it off with alcohol, but it'll be on there for a little while. And you're also going to want to protect your work surface, so we are going to use some aluminum foil. And then to seal our piece so that it's usable, we are going to use the Kamar or Kmar Krylon varnish. And then we're going to give a nice glossy clear coat with the triple thick crystal clear Krylon finish. And finally, we will need our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do before we start to ink our bottle is to cover your workstation in foil. And I like to curl up the edges just on the off chance that you get a rogue dribble of alcohol that decides it's going to try to run on the aluminum foil, it's not going to actually run onto your workstation. The edge will stop it. You could also use the disposable um, foil like cookie sheets or anything like that. I know sometimes you can pick those up at the dollar store, but I just think, you know, everybody should have aluminum foil on hand. So this is pretty easy to be able to protect the area that you're working on. Now, obviously we're going to take the top off. And as you can see, I have my gloves on because, again, if you get this on your hands, I promise you it's going to be there for a little while. Now, before you do any type of alcohol ink project, if you are using glass, always take some rubbing alcohol and just pre-clean the whole area to make sure that you don't have any dirt, dust, film, adhesive, anything like that on the surface that's going to keep the alcohol ink from bonding. Not to mention that pre-wetting it is something that we're going to do anyway to help the ink kind of flow. The reason I opted to go with black alcohol ink for this one is because Doxyside is described as being a black foul-smelling liquid that when sprayed on the Doxies paralyzes them temporarily so that they can be removed properly. Now, the reason you want to paralyze them is because they have a venomous bite. The paralyzation keeps them from biting you so that you can remove them properly. So instead of doing a prop version of this where you would have a black liquid that you really couldn't spray or anything like that, I wanted to make this bottle usable. And I wanted you to be able to fill it with water. You could use it on your plants. You could spray it on your curtains as a cosplay. Whatever it may be, you can do it because it's just going to be water. So that's why I wanted to give the outside of our bottle the look of a black liquid that's still transparent without actually having a black colored liquid on the inside. That's why we are going with the alcohol ink because it's going to give us an amazing texture and look with the alcohol inks and it's also going to be transparent so that you can still see through it. So the next thing we're going to do before we put the ink on is we are going to spritz our bottle because it's going to act as a catalyst to allow the ink to move a little more freely and get a better design. So we're just going to start with our ink and we're just going to start to do drops randomly placed around the bottle. And as you can see, the alcohol is allowing it to drip and it creates these amazing just textures just from the dripping. And then we can use a straw to help move some of that liquid around the bottle. And then we can just continue to add the black alcohol ink until we get a desired look. You can also spray it with more alcohol to keep it damp and to keep the ink running so that you can get a really great look. So I'm going to let that coat dry and we'll come back and add some more. 
Okay, so the first layer has dried. So we have a nice base that is still transparent, still has nice movement, but I wanna get a little bit more of a design and you also want to darken up some areas. So I'm gonna do a combination of things. I've added a dropper with a little bit of alcohol so that I can add some alcohol drops because this will also help change the design some too. And then I can continue to place my black alcohol ink to just continue to get whatever design we want. So just have fun with it. Just randomly place your drops of ink and your alcohol so that you start to get a really great design that again is see-through but is going to look like liquid inside our jar. Not to mention it's going to give us kind of an antique -y vibe because it'll almost give that look that old mirrors have in the background. And I wanted to show you guys another technique that you can use. Okay, and I think I like where we're at with this, so I'm gonna let this dry. They actually recommend that you let it dry 24 hours before you seal it, just to make sure that the ink is completely dry. Um, and then at that point, it becomes non-flammable because at this point, it does have alcohol in it. So obviously, it is going to be flammable. But when you let it dry overnight, the alcohol all evaporates and makes it so that it is safe. Then at that point, we're going to go ahead and seal it and then we will be able to use it. So I will be back with you guys tomorrow. Let's let this dry overnight. Okay, so it has been 24 hours later and I thought I would bust out the white background so that you guys can truly appreciate the texture and color that we got with the alcohol ink. So at this point, we're going to take this out to my garage or any well-ventilated area that you can spray. You never want to spray indoors. Um, with my garage, I'm able to vent it with the garage door. But if you're able to do it outside, that's even better. But we're going to seal it first with the Kamar varnish, and then we're going to allow that to dry for 15 minutes, and we're going to do a second coat of it. Um, once the two coats are applied, you're supposed to let it dry for two hours. And then at that point, we will then apply the triple thick crystal clear glaze, which once you spray that on there, you need to let that dry for 24 hours before you touch it because you don't want to get a bunch of fingerprints on it. Light even coats are the key to a good finish. It's been two hours and our Kamar finish is completely dry. We're going to go ahead and coat it with our triple thick crystal clear Krylon top coat. Okay, it has been a full 24 hours since we sprayed our triple thick Krylon clear coat over top of the Kamar spray. And as you can tell, we got a really great finish that is now water resistant. The alcohol ink isn't going to come off or fade. Um, and it's just, I think, gives a really great effect. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see all of the colors and finishes that we got with this but it's got this beautiful black and gray and almost even some hints of like a little bit of a blue, which I love. And it gives just this great dark watery look to it that I think definitely replicates the look of a doxyside potion while being able to just fill this with water and use it for plants or whatever you'd like. So at this point, I'm going to find my least favorite side and that's gonna be where I place my potion label because most of that side will end up being covered by the label. So I actually think, I think this might be my least favorite spot right here. So I think that's going to be the side that I put my label on. So I have my label printed on sticker paper here, and I, as always, went around the outside edge with a matching marker. So in this case, it was kind of a blue-gray color. 
Um, and we're just going to peel the backing label off and we're going to place it on our bottle here. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So at this point, I'm going to rub it down. And I think because this potion is being used in Grimwald Place and it's such a dark and sinister dwelling before they actually clear it out for the owner of the Phoenix, I think I'm going to take one of my black ink pads and a paper towel and I'm just going to pick a little bit of the black ink up and I think we're just going to dab a little bit on the edges to just kind of age this up a little bit and almost make it blend into the finish that we have on the outside a little bit more. And this is completely optional. I just thought it helps give it a little bit more of an aged, worn and weathered look. And I think that just kind of adds a little bit of an aged look to it that I really like so that the label doesn't look so crisp and clean. Okay, and I think that that gives that a really great aged look to it that just makes the label look not so crisp and clean. Okay, so I like that a lot. So at this point, we are going to fill this with some water because I'm going to use this as a plant mister. And we're going to screw our topper back on. Okay, and there you go. We have our top screwed on. Get this really great dark liquidy look without actually having any dark liquid in there at all. It's all just the outside finish. And I love that this is completely usable. So you could use this on plants, you could use this as a cosplay prop, anything like that. And there you have it, our doxy side, which induces temporary paralysis, allowing for the safe removal of doxies without fear of being bitten. This will be a great addition to our potion and prop collection we've been making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.